Disney World has really stepped up their salad game. Hey guys, it's Magical Mom Laura and I'm really excited to talk about salads today. We went to Disney World in July of 2023 and then again on a solo trip in early September 2023. It was very hot and I was just craving salads. And Disney sit-down restaurants so many good salads and I just wanted to talk about them. So there were two misses, but most of them like some of the best salads I've ever had. So let's jump into it. Narcoosie's at the Grand Floridian had just recently revamped their menu and I was so excited to try this brand new salad. We were staying at the Grand Floridian and our room was just steps away from the restaurant and everything about this salad I love. Unfortunately, I found it incredibly bland. I didn't taste the flavors of the barrel aged feta, did not taste the lemon curd, and I found this just incredibly disappointing, especially for $15. The second miss is over at the Sci-Fi Diner. My daughter and I ate here for the first time and really did not enjoy this meal at all. Part of the reason for this salad mishap could be mine because I modified a salad with meat and I am a vegetarian. I took their black garlic Caesar salad, I took out the bacon and then changed the dressing to the house-made citrus vinaigrette. The wedge salad, I don't know who would serve a wedge salad in a dark restaurant. The camera's actually making this lighter than it was. The dressing was not good. The lettuce was okay. The Parmesan cheese was really good. That was the only thing that I enjoyed about this salad. A huge miss. Let's jump into all the incredible salads I had at Disney World. One of our favorite restaurants is Space 220. We have eaten there twice. You pick an appetizer and an entree for $55. As a vegetarian, both times I've gone, I've picked the Big Bang Burrata. I love burrata salads. So this one was last year. It was different. It was good. It had the burrata, the romesco sauce, grilled artichokes, and arugula. Very good. And then currently, this is what's on the menu with preserved fruits and focaccia crostini. But last July, the most amazing salad I've ever had. It was the Big Bang Burrata again, but instead of those other items, you had a compressed watermelon. And our server told me that this was vacuum sealed for 48 hours. This makes it so sweet, so delicious. You, If it's on the menu, you guys have to try this salad. I'm going to vacuum seal and compress as much fruit as I can. I also love that they had the Florida citrus oil with it, the peppery arugula, just one of my all-time favorite burrata salads in one of my all-time favorite restaurants. I must try at Disney World. The next salad that I really loved was from Cinderella's Royal Table, and we had lunch here for the first time. It is on the pricey side. It's a three-course meal. It includes meeting Cinderella and four princesses inside. It was $84 for adults and $49 for children age three to nine. The meal is delicious. It, like I said, it includes three courses and the service is great. The atmosphere to be eating inside the castle is absolutely amazing. This salad was so good. I did modify it. I do, do not care for Brussels sprouts, so I kept those out. I absolutely love goat cheese. So to have the greens with the goat cheese and the green goddess dressing. I want the recipe. I'm going to search it now. It was so delicious. My husband got it as well and absolutely loved it as well. I'm excited to go back to this restaurant for this salad. So make sure you get that salad if you have lunch or dinner. It's Cindy's Royal Table. In July, we switched over to the Coronado from Grand Floridian Resort. And I just love Mexican food. And there were two fantastic salads at two of the restaurants here. The first one was Maya Grill. 
This is a Mexican restaurant and a Mexican fiesta salad is one of my favorite kinds of salad. So I had to get their fiesta salad. It is crunchy, delicious, and what makes this one different and stands out, it has diced pineapples in it. I love lemon and oregano, so that dressing was so delicious. One of my favorite salads, if I had any criticism of it, I would have added some black beans to it as well to add some protein, but definitely a salad you wanna get if you are at Coronado. I'm also a huge fan of Greek salads with delicious olives, lots of oregano, and the Three Bridges Bar and Grill at Villa Del Lago. It's a lakefront, nice restaurant in the Coronado Springs, and they had this delicious Greek salad. And it kind of was a simple Greek salad, but what made it so good was the smokiness of the smoked feta. I would not go out of my way for this salad, but I would go out of my way for their delicious sangria flight and the ambiance. And this small, light salad goes perfect with that. Another Mexican restaurant, which is located in the Mexican Pavilion in Epcot, La Hacienda de San Genel. We love this restaurant. My daughter is a huge fan of Mexican food, so we hit up both of these restaurants often. And this was a different, unique salad. It had watermelon again, just like Space Through 20, pumpkin seeds, and one of my favorite, lime oregano vinaigrette. I would have also probably added black beans to this to improve it, but the combination of all of these ingredients, really good salad. Another one of my daughter's favorites is Via Napoli in the Italy Pavilion in Epcot. They have the most delicious pizza, but if you wanna get some greens when you're there as well, their house salad is so good. It says it's a minimum of two people, I'm not really sure, and it's I think it's the cheapest at $9. A basic, plain, simple Mediterranean salad. What really stands out in the salad are those delicious green olives and the Papadou peppers. Those are rare to find in any dish, so just a great combination and simple salad. Tiffin's has quickly become one of our must-do places that we visit every time we're in Animal Kingdom theme park. It is such a unique and beautiful restaurant. It evokes this sense of adventure and travel. The menu is full of exotic flavors, and I have to Google many of them. And this salad is no different. If you are a Disney fan, you know Living with the Land, and the lettuces come from the Land Pavilion. The next item I had to Google... Muhammad. Muhammad, which is a walnut and red pepper sauce. It also has sumac, which is another spice, very common in Middle Eastern cooking. And then garlic breadcrumbs and citrus vinaigrette. A very unique, delicious salad and crunchy, fresh lettuce. And I just love that it comes from living with the land. Our last salad is in Beast Castle at the Magic Kingdom. This is a prefix menu, so it's a three course meal, and I paid $67 for adult. And as a vegetarian, I'm not sure if that's exactly worth it, but it was a very nice dining experience. The service was great. They went out of their way to make sure that my picky eater was eating, especially for the price we paid. But what I wanted to talk about was their mixed green salad. It has a very simple description, goat cheese mousse and roasted tomato vinaigrette dressing. But as you can see, there was more to this salad and I didn't realize until I got the to the end of it that the goat cheese mousse was on the bottom. Again, this was just a very unique salad, something I never had, different French flavors, and I always like unique flavors and trying different food, and they did a really great job with this goat cheese mousse. It was very different, and we got to say goodbye to the beast. So that's gonna do it for this video. It's all about salads. I hope you all enjoyed it. If there's any salads you think I should try, please let me know below in the comments and I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.